Hey guys, I feel like I have to make this video now, especially after seeing all the new items in the store for the Cyber Showdown operation. It seems like every other team at 343 is willing to listen and fix issues that we ever bring up or talk about as fans, but the monetization team just could not care less about changing the prices, and I think it's super clear for all to see. I'm going to highlight just how absurd this new store is, and why I personally recommend that you all steer clear. First things first, the Chimera Core is one of those cores that you either love it or you hate it. Now, unfortunately, do not like it at all. When I took a look at the store, I honestly thought it all looked like trash. I really do hate to sit here and say that because I know some people might like it and all the power to you if you do. That's not to say that there isn't any cool things in here. There definitely is, but 90% of it looks terrible and it reminds me of a lot of the Halo 5 armor that no one used or cared about and that's one of those reasons why I can't understand this pricing. For example, there's a bundle here that's 1,400 credits and it gives you two coatings and a visor. And then some of you guys might say to me, oh, but Ghost, cross core. That means absolutely nothing when that was something we should have had day one. The issue is, for 343, they are thinking it is a deal, because it's now cross core. But that's just not the way it works. They're charging us essentially for them fixing their own mistake, and I'm not a fan of that whatsoever. My next issue is that the entire shop contains 90% of the event content, and as we all know, everything is locked behind overpriced bundles that you can only get if you spend over $20. I believe Mint Blitz said it himself that this would cost you over $200 USD to buy all the armor in the store this week. And that is absolutely insane. No matter what us Halo fans say, or even fellow content creators say about the store to try get the prices reduced, 343 just don't care. Or at least their monetization team doesn't care. As I said, a lot of the other teams over at 343 do a great job of listening to the fans. They make updates and changes for things we want to see. But the monetization team just don't seem to care about how high these prices are. And I know the excuse here could be Microsoft breathing down their necks, trying to get them to keep the prices up. And that may very well be the case, but surely you'd think about reducing the prices for your retaining player base who have stuck with the game since launch. Halo Infinite did not get a Season 6, instead we got Content Update 29. We've lost the 100 tier Battle Pass, which used to have a ton of content as well as a thousand free credits that allowed you to buy anything in the store, and instead a lot of the armor that you would expect to see in the 100 tier Battle Pass is now in the store. And that's a really baffling decision that was only made for one purpose, to make more money. In my case, I'm really glad this time around because I don't like any of the armor bundles in the store right now. But if you do, you're gonna have to spend over 20, 25 dollars to get one item that you want. In the last 24 hours, I've just seen so many Halo fans say that 343 don't care about the store and that they will never change the store prices, and they are bang on correct. Do not expect any changes to the store until the end of this game's lifespan. These prices are here to stay and will be the case until this game is finished, and that will most likely be towards the end of this year. I think Halo Infinite has one more year left in its lifespan in terms of content, as we do know we are getting a content update. 30, but if we don't get any new vehicles or weapons in that, then honestly, 343 are going to lose a lot of players. It's such a shame too, because a lot of these armors, even the ones that I don't like, could have been in a 100 tier battle pass. And that would have been a very good retention tool for 343 to keep players coming back. But I guess deep down, that doesn't matter as much as putting all that stuff in the store to make a bit more cash. It's just such a shame, guys. I really do enjoy playing Halo Infinite, and at least the new content from this Cyber Showdown operation has been pretty good. And by content, I mean the new maps. But otherwise, the armor and store is an absolute disgrace. I'm really hoping a lot of what I've said here has kind of resonated with all you guys. And if it has, please do drop a like or leave a comment. I'm really curious to get your stance on this. And with that said, I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one.